Hi guys, Steffi here and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I've got a project share for you. Um, it isn't completely finished, the last signature still needs some little bits putting in. Um, but I'm super excited. I did mention last week that I'd been doing some mixed media work and this is what I've made. So I had an MDF journal pieces, so I had the covers and I had the spine. I was kind of gifted them off Danielle Rose a while ago now. And I was like, you know, it is. I've got loads of bits. I really fancy doing some mixed media. And this was, it's all Dawn from Sh Shiny Silver Treasures and Julia from Julia McNeil Crafts. Because um, I've seen them, so I was watching them. I think they were doing the um, same stash, different results. I can't remember if that's what it's called, but yeah. Um, and they were doing mixed media. And I was like, I definitely want to have another go. So... Obviously, these places, all of this, these things is from a range of different places, but I will tell you where they're from if I can remember. So what I'd done was I attached the spine to the covers using some Tyvek just to give it that extra bit of strength. And then what I really want to try, you can see it better on here, was the kitchen roll technique. I'd never tried it before. Um, so basically, because I didn't even gesso it first, I just popped the... I used my... Oh, it was a Tim Holtz. Oh, I can't remember what it is. The range thing. It's like a. It's not gel medium. It's like a. It, something else. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, you could use PVA glue. So I put it down, stuck all of the um, kitchen wall down, and then went over it again. And I covered even the inside. The only bit I didn't do was well, the bit where I've stuck an extra spine on. But how amazing does that look? And then I think the only really mediums i've used like color wise is all new four mousses i've used on here so i've used the purple i've used the blue i've used like a red bronze and i've used a bronze you know i didn't that's like the bronzy one i didn't come in with any gold and then on the front here we've got these resin corners with the rose just there and there and then this lovely rose heart resin they came from the trinket parlor they were in a set and then these are also resin pieces. We've got Silhouette of the White Rabbit and of Alice. They came in a kit from there as well. I think a lot of it's from the Trinket Parlor, actually. Um, these charms here, so the Drink Me. Um, I'm trying to see if there was any else on here that I'd done. The Jam Tart. I would made them with some moulds and some clay. Um, so I, I made them ages ago. These are just the round clear, like cabochons and i'll just pop them down and cover it over got some micro beads here this queen of hearts card is from the trinket parlor as is this clock i think and then this is like a brass clock quite flat so i put that in that was from there and also the cheshire cat i mean look how cute and darling he is um this piece of snip art here was from the craft box the hearts i'm not sure I was just kicking in my stash. Um, and then these little flowers were just from my stash as well. And then this heart here was from, I think, was it from the works? I got, you could get like a little box of wooden embellishments and that's where I got that. But I also got gifted some as well. This key I got from AliExpress. And then I've just used some Tim Holtz words there. I did have a piece of snip art that was beautiful that I really wanted to use on the front, but I couldn't get it to stick. And then I broke it, so I had to just go with that. So really heavily embellished, but nothing's going anywhere. Absolutely love it. <coughs> so then you opened up. I haven't put any pockets or anything on here because I think it's going to be really awkward to be able to stick to. Um, the majority of these printables is a kit by Artie Mears, I think. I've had them for, they're printed off for ages. And these ones, I can't remember what kit these came from. I wonder if it's the same kit. I, I honestly can't remember. So we've got Epsilon there. And Alice was underneath there, but I want to put this on. And I want to um, just to add a little bit of interest. Now, I've used me Distress Oxide. And I've went, because I don't like white space. And my journals is mainly for writing, so I like a lot of writing space. I've used this beautiful um, envelope, paper clip, and then these also. These are not the colours that these are supposed to be, um, but they were actually um, 
when my ink was running out and I really liked the colours so I was like I'm going to keep them I love them and inside I've just got one of the little topper decks from Hunky Dory I think it's Once Upon a Twilight that collection I think so then that just clips back on here and obviously I've got loads of coffee dyed paper and I've used a mixture of my Alice in Wonderland paper kit as well as well as some other printables that were already printed out and I've just thought I'd utilise them so this one you've got the cartoon Alice there I've got a little pocket just with some tags these are just on paper and um, so they're not very sturdy but they'll do for being in here and then we've got the white rabbit and I've used plain paper graph paper and lined paper in this journal when I've coffee dyed it we've got the rocking horse fly love this cut part here with the things this is some toppers that i had i think i got them from create and craft ages ago so it's a bit of old and new really vintage and you know like cartoony and i just love them i will come back and put some tags there some string and stuff on these on this all i've done on that page is i've added the stamp of the cheshire cat a little pocket with two more tags and then on these ones, because it's Alice in Wonderland, I've tried to put the decorations on sideways because that is the orientation that I'm going to write. I just thought it would be really quirky and it'll fit in really nicely with the Alice in Wonderland theme. So we've just got a banner here that says, This way, Mad Hatter's Tea Party, wrong way. And we've got a ticket there with Epsilon on. This is some of my printable Echo Park Alice in Wonderland paper. I've just attached one of the tags. This was from the Disney Collect paper kit. And I've went round everything with vintage photo. And I've just got a belly band on here. And again, that was one of the cut parts. The pop-outs even. And then we've got... To, most of these I've just stuck down because I couldn't be bothered to. I don't want loads of pockets and flips. I just want, like, decoration more than anything else. This beautiful paper here, Danielle got me ages ago. And it's in A3 sheets. So I just cut it in half and I fold it over to form a bit of a pocket. Love that there. I still haven't stapled this in, but I've used some of my offcuts of my lined paper to make a little journal to sit in there. So that needs finishing off. I've got Curiouser and Curiouser. And I've got Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And I love this silhouette paper. This is beautiful. And again, all I've done is one piece of my scrap, stuck that on, and a stamp over the top. And then we've got the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. And then on this side, we've just got one that says Curiouser and Curiouser with all of the keys and the flowers. This one I left quite plain. Beautiful image of Alice. And then we've got Off With Their Head and The Queen of Hearts from the Disney paper kit. And then we've got just got a banner. We've got the top hat. We've got a little, made this one into a little talk. This is from the Disney paper kit. And these were from Craft Box. I got them ages ago in the sale. And how cute are those playing cards? Absolutely gorgeous. Got a ticket up here. And then I love this paper. And what I've done is this is one of the cut parts and I've just cut it out and I've stuck it on. So it's like a little journal spot. I love that on there. Then we've got the Cheshire Cat and we've got one of those Mad Hat stamps. Got a stack of teacups and we've got another. This one's from the Disney kit as well. Off with their head. We've got another envelope here and we've just got a triangle paper clip and what's in this one? It's one of those cards from Craftbox. And see the amount of Alice stuff that I've actually got is ridiculous. <laughs> I could make 20 journals to be fair, maybe if not even if not more. But the frame there it says well mad here, and there's the reverse of that beautiful paper. We've got the pocket watch. Got the white rabbit we've got the banner and then we've got curiouser and curiouser and then we've got alice i haven't stuck her down very well but she's on there another one of those cards from hunky dory and i've just glued it down on two sides so we can make a little tuck spot and then we've got the mad hatter a very merry on birthday and then this is a bit of the scrap of the echo park paper here have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers. Another ticket. This first signature is the most decorated, to be honest. This one I put in the middle because I think it'll be nice to journal around it. This one I've just... I thought it was the bit I cut out of this pocket and I just thought I'd stick it on there. We've got Alice. 
and then that's the end of the first signature and then this one you've got the tea party you've got the sign the teapot uh the teacup and the hat and this one i just went through and just randomly put bits in i was getting a bit sick by the end like i said i haven't made these into tucks they just folded flat some more digital paper that i had you've got one of the guards made one of the little um journal cards into a little pocket got another one of those papers with the tab on We've got the sideways one with the cards We've got the march hair and not how cute is the rabbit on that one it's adorable and then we've got this here i'm sure i put something in all of the envelopes i just can't remember what oh it's another card from craft box it's the queen of hearts i just thought it'd be nice just to add on and then this way i'm not wasting any of the paper that i've printed out wrong but i really do like that color way anyway to be honest and I haven't got anything on these ones. So it's just like little bits. You can see me off where I've trimmed my papers down. I've got little bits of thread. and um, Some stamps there. You've got the Queen and our guards. Alice. And then it says, Always curious all the way around. Got the White Rabbit. And I love that one. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Again, so I can write round them. I think that'd be very really nice. A little tab here it goes on the side and yeah it's just more of the same i just love it got another one of those cards here made into a pocket but what i realized after i'd stuck it down was i should have stuck the pocket the other way um because when i write it's, that's going to be the wrong way but it'll be okay it's alice in wonderland themed it's allowed to be a bit weird so yeah i mean i love my copy type here but I can't remember, I think I've only done about, I've done quite a few sheets and I was getting really sick by the end. We've got another pocket here with a bookmark and a tag. Didn't realise they both had the same image on now, but never mind. I've got Alice, got the White Rabbit. Here's another one of those little flip outs. So I've stuck that one there as well. And you've got the Hatter, I love that. Another tags. And this one here, I've just, showed, I think I've just dumped these in there. I've just got bits that are correct from the paper kit the digital paper kit and look at that image there i love that and i love this effect on my coffee paper absolutely love it then we've got alice there reminds us of the stampy image that one i don't think it is and then we've got a belly band here and i've got another one of those little journals so i can stick photos in or journal but it needs sticking together I've got a stamp you've got twiddle day and twiddle dome and then that's the end of that signature. This one, I think there's only bit that's decorated. It's that bit. <laughs> and that's it. But I do need to go back in. But what I might do is I might leave this bit until I actually start writing and then use bits to decorate it. But all it is is just... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I love that one. This is literally all it is. And then this one has a little tag in as well. A little journal card like i said this one i might have the envelope it had the envelope one but i don't think there's much else in this one that i've done this graph paper i actually bought when i went away to greece obviously not last year the year before when we went to corfu and i was like oh so i thought that's that comes all the way from greece that one it's more of that called park paper this paper thing it's really thick and then got the cheshire cat and the pocket watch he said they've all been most of them's been inked we've got a few more bits in here of the journal cards how long is forever sometimes just one second and then like i said it just goes on like that and i absolutely love it i love how chunky it is i'm going to really really enjoy writing in this i'm not really one for journaling i've always wanted to journal but i really struggle Especially, I think, lately, because, obviously, all I do is the same thing all the time. But even if I take pictures of anything I make or anything like that, I am going to... I mean, you can see how... If I hold it like that, you can see how absolutely chunky this journal is. But I love that feel. I really do. Um, but, yeah, I am going to start writing bits in it. I'm going to... Even if I write it in pencil and then go over it in pen... Um, but the best thing with this is that because i haven't sewn the journals in because they're just like a traveler's notebook 
it means I can replace them if I make a mistake. So that's good. But yeah, absolutely love this. And I just thought I'd come on and show you um, this that I've been up to. Absolutely loving it. I am going to try and do more mixed media. I'm waiting. I've done some orders. Um, a couple of thank you grab bags from the Creative Craft Academy. Um, they do a monthly box, which I've recently subscribed to. Um, my first one came yesterday. And I'm so excited to start that. But it's just to try and get myself into it properly. And that I really, really did love doing this. In total, I might have been on about three days with the cover. Obviously waiting for stuff to dry and stuff like that. And then by the time I was doing all my coffee dyeing, it has been about a week. I haven't touched it for a couple of days now. Um, well, maybe it's more than a couple. Um, but it has been a labour of love. But I'm absolutely loving how it looks. So I hope you guys like it and thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll be back soon. Bye.